Oh, praise to the most high. Sisters, how y'all doing this Sabbath? Mm, brothers, how y'all doing? Good. Well, all the sisters are in a good mood right now, so I better take advantage of this. Well, apparently a lot of the sisters were missing on so-called Thanksgiving Day. I noticed that. You see how it's three tiers right there? This was empty. Half of that was empty. That side. So something going on up here. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, Captain Yadin told me that uh, on so-called Thanksgiving, I wasn't fair to the brothers because I didn't have them uh, ask questions. Only the sisters were allowed to ask questions, and that was unfair. Really? Okay. So today, brothers, we're going to deal with your concerns. So you sisters, y'all just relax. And like I always say, if this ain't you, let it roll off you like water off a duck's back. But if it is you, take a deep breath. Call me in the morning. Now, for those of you brothers and sisters online, today's class might get flagged because I'm going to show some videos. So you might want to go to Periscope. Where else can they go to when it won't get shut down? Maybe Facebook. All right. Facebook um, and Periscope. So today's lesson is, damn, I married a monster. That is today's class. Brothers have complained that they have um, You're pretty brave when it's their wives have a Jekyll and Hyde personality. Jekyll and Hyde. So we're going to open up with um, Ezekiel 16, 44. I want to start there. I want to preface today by starting there. And, and, and one thing, I'll, I'll say this. Brothers, always remember this. Sisters will have no, I don't care what the sister looks like. She will have no problem ever finding a man. But it'll, she'll have to cross heaven and earth to find a husband. Damn. Damn. Write that thing down. Write that Damn. thing down right there. Damn. <laughs> Say it again, bitch. <laughs> See it again, see it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they will get a man. They get it. You didn't get it? I said they'll have no problem. You slow? They'll have no, none of, no, no matter what she looks like, she'll have no problem getting a man. But she'll have to cross heaven and earth to find a husband. Ah, and we tried to uh, make a bridge between brothers and sisters so it make, you know, things much more balance much more easier but we've heard some terrible situations we open up with ezekiel 16 44 ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 44 behold everyone that uses proverbs shall use this proverb uh -huh. against thee uh -huh. saying as is the mother as is the mother because some of these women that y'all have married have come into the marriage with packages. When I say package, I mean they already got children. Packages. Baggage. Read it again. Behold, everyone that uses Proverbs shall use this proverb against thee. Mm -hmm. Say, as is the mother, so is her daughter. Because she came in the relationship. Thou art. We, 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 we. Don't we can't rush this class. We just got to <laughs> let her marinate a little bit. She came in with children. Some of them have daughters. Hmm. Go ahead. Thou art thy mother's daughter. Thou art thy mother's daughter. Go ahead. That loatheth her husband. Mm, that part right there. That loatheth her, loatheth her husband. Now, I don't know many of the situations that go on here. But I've, I've heard. So, sisters, if I get your story wrong, don't run up, curse out the captains. Don't send evil messages. I just don't have, I just know little bits and pieces. So, 
If the dog, like I made a statement, I said the dog, a brother, wife had a dog and a dog took a crap in the living room and the brother came home from 12 hours of work and stepped in the dog boo. The sister makes a point. It waited stepping in. But was there dog poo on the floor and not any old dog poo? Because it wasn't fresh. Because if it was fresh dog poo, you know you're like, what the hell? You'd hear in there fussing at the dog. But you hear silence and you hear TV on. And nobody's, what's that smell? And so the dog poo is crusted over. She's going to get mad now. <laughs> it's all right, sis. It's all right. We're just having fun. We're just having fun. And nobody knows it's you. Where you at? What verse you at? Verse 45. Go ahead. Thou art thy mother's daughter. Thou art thy mother's daughter. That loatheth her husband. That hates her husband. I don't know. I, I don't know. Some sisters, uh, with all the hell they've been through, you would think when a man says, you know what? I want to take you as my lawful, is that the term? Lawful wedded wife. And she's, with all your baggage, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to do it. She's a non-appreciative. She really believes she can get that anywhere. Yeah, that's the word ungrateful. Sisters. I'm saying sisters. Not one particular, but sisters. And not all the sisters. Just the ones who today's class fits. Just them. Go ahead. That loatheth her husband and her children. And she hates her kids. Because you know why she hates her kids? She run daddy out the house. Daddy gone. Now she says to the kids, your daddy's no damn good. He ain't S-H. He ain't ish. Is that the right term? You don't know. He ain't, you don't know either. What's the term? I need American brothers. No. <laughs> Whatever that term is. So she run the man out the house. Give me that scripture. A loud crying woman. Give me that one. We coming back here though. We coming back here. Sirach chapter 26 and verse 27. A loud crying woman and a skull shall be sought out to drive away the enemy. She's only to be used to drive away the enemy. But you know what the problem is? She looks at her husband as the enemy. And she drives him out the house. That's what some of our sisters have done and are doing. Give me that Matthew 12. Is it? No, Matthew 10, 36, I think. I think that's what I want. Matthew 10, 36. The book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 36. Well, some of y'all are going, why you use that? That scripture says she's used to drive away the enemy. That's the white man. Okay, watch this. And a man's foes. A man's foes, a man's enemies. Shall be they of his own household. You hear what the Messiah said? You hear what the king of kings said? Christ is prepping us. He says your enemy is going to start in your house first. So it ain't going to be the white man, the white man, the white man. It's going to be the wife, the wife, and her chilling. One woman said, one sister's son picked up a knife to stab daddy. A lot of us heard about this thing. So now she's going to come around and turn her to lie. Now I, told, I said, hey, you better handle that thing right after the call. Ring, ring, ring. Hey. How old is he? How old, how old the boy? What? In the 20s? He should go to jail. File a report at least. File a report. No, no, no. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do that. No, no, no. I said, okay. You want, to be, you want to be Mr. Nice Guy? Okay. So then what happens? Son goes. Police said, now, the police came by. I said, if I, if I file a report, I'm going to have to take action. Jake Cobb, Jake. He said, I want you to think about it. So the, the, the daddy go, okay. I don't want him to I don't want him to have no record. Okay, that's pl applaudable. Is that the word, applaudable? Okay. All right. Let's watch and see what happens now. So a month, two months later, daddy comes home. Who's sitting there with his 
feet on a coffee table eating daddy food? The same boy. Looking at him like, oh, what you want? Why, why is this grown man in my house? The young man said, this is my house now. Ma said I, I, I could live here. What the hell is this? This dude threatened to kill me. Then here come the wife. You misunderstood. He didn't try to hurt you. Remember, I, he was just holding it. He wasn't going to do anything with it. He was just holding it. No. He was just holding it. He wasn't going to do anything with it. All right. Okay. All right. Now you're home mad, right? You're mad? You're mad? And all, guess whose fault it is? Bishop Nathaniel's fault. I'm in another state, and it's my fault. You can't make it. Go back to Ezekiel 16. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 16 and verse 45. Thou art thy mother's daughter that loatheth her husband and her children, and thou art the sister of thy sisters, which loatheth their husbands and their children. Your mother was a Hittite. Your mother, God says, is a dirty Hamite. Go ahead. And your father, an Amorite. And your father was a dusty Amorite, Hamite, bloodsucker. Go ahead. And thine eldest sister is Samaria. Now these old Puerto Rican sisters, because some of you brothers say, I don't want no darkies. I want light-skinned Puerto Ricans. You know who you is. You say, well, uh, uh, no, her skin is too brown. I need... I need it light, lighter than that. Because it reminds me of the black woman. I want the other one. Little do you know, the old Puerto Rican sister, they got big mouth. Them old daggone Dominican women too. One brother went and got him a Mexican. I said, brother, you better leave Issachar alone. And she, she too young. He said, what you mean she too young? I said, how old are you? He said, 35. I said, how old is she? He says, uh, 26. I said, okay, she's in her 20s, right? He said, well, the age difference ain't that bad. I said, but there's something you didn't let me know about that I already know about her. She used to be in a gang. Ninos, pato, something. I said, do you know how women are initiated into gangs with Mexicans? It's a card, tribe it's a card? Well, it's only on TV. I said, okay, you know everything. So, she's very pretty sister, very pretty. Essie. <laughs> and he's, she is so pretty, he decides he wants to rush, you know, back door. I don't want no brother to look at her. I'm going to hurry up and have sex with her real quick and then claim her. As, that's his plan. So, we it's back door. So, oh, Bishop, we, we, we got to get married because, um, you know, I, I messed up. We got to get married. I said, oh, you messed up. So his sister goes, what do you mean? What are you talking about? He says, yeah, you, you, you got to get married to me. She says, oh, you must not know about me. You know what Beyonce says? You must not know about me. She said, you ain't trapping me in no marriage. She said, I, I've been here. How long she was here with us? Eight months. She said, I've been here eight months. You're not trapping me in a relationship with you? Hell no. She says, watch. So the next day, her brother who was with us, gives a call. Said, hey, my sister went back to the gang and got reinitiated again. Brother outside crying. <laughs> I said, you simple as hell. Read that again. And thine elder sister is Samaria. That's Northern Kingdom. Mm -hmm. She and her daughters that dwell at thy left hand and thy younger sister that dwelleth at thy right hand is Sodom and her daughter. Yes, yeah, Sodom. Some of you want to marry the old Sodomite sister. Mm. Oh, you got them in here. Oh, they sitting around our U.S. And I always tell you, brothers, give them five years. Let the Bible marinate in that spirit for at least five years. Because if they come from the Sodomite life, when it comes to men, they've been either abused by a family member or something, and they're something ain't um clicking right away. I might be using the wrong word. So if y'all don't be getting offended and saying I'm insulting. Bishop's so insulting and insensitive. I'm sorry. So you brothers, you want to get with the ex rug muncher. 
She don't like what you got. Actually, you know, I'll take that back. She might like that, but she don't like what's on top of your neck, your head. What I mean by head. She don't want to hear you being her Lord. She don't want to hear that. She wants a, another woman. That's what she wants. She don't want you. She said, when I want what's downstairs, I'll strap it on. I don't need that. I don't need you. That's her mentality. That's her mentality. I sent a... Uh, 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 where's he at? Where's a cat? I send a no, it was Barnabas. I sell Barnabas' wife. Can you talk to sister so and so for me? Because there she's having a lot of problems. She goes over there. I don't think more than seven minutes from when she come running over here like somebody was chasing her. <laughs> I can't counsel her. That girl crazy. She don't like him. She don't want him. She, ain't re- she was not ready to get married. Why y'all let them get married? We didn't let them get married. That was old backdoor stuff. She just, I guess she just wanted to try it out. I don't know. And then she realized what he was working with. She didn't like that thing too much. Read that again. Read on. Thy younger sister that dwelleth at thy right hand is Sodom and her daughters. Mm-hmm. Yet Hast thou not walked after their ways, nor done after their abominations, but as if there were a very little thing, thou wast corrupted more than they in all thy ways. Some of these little monstrous sisters we got, they really consider it's a little thing. The way I act is a small thing. It's not, it's not a big deal. <sighs> Give me second Ezra 5 and 8. So I'm, let me repeat that because I know some of our lovely sisters are hard of hearing. If this does not pertain to you, sister, let it roll off you like water off a duck's back. But if it does pertain to you, take stock. Write it down. Some of you have never took stock of yourself. Some of you have never sat down and said, let me write down all my faults. I spoke to one. See, and I, in the, I, I, Deacon Asaph was saying he didn't want to touch on his classes because some... Brothers in leadership have issues in their marriage. I said, well, shame on them, too. They got to get hit with the brick, too. It is what it is. So you will have situations. I'll say that in a minute. Read that. Second Ezra 5. Second Ezra, chapter 5 and verse 8. There shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be all sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places. And mistress woman shall bring forth monsters. Unclean, meaning wicked women shall bring forth monsters. That's them kids. And we tell you, brothers, when you want to talk to a sister with children, and it's very admirable, applaudable, but don't just look at the beauty of the sister, the, the, the wonderful vernacular of the sister, the poise, the high heels the sister got. Don't just look at that. Observe the kids. Get to know the kids. Hey, little Raheem. Hey, little Ray Ray. You ain't my daddy. Get that away from me. Oh, shoot. You better pay attention or y'all be letting that stuff skate by you. Then you get married to her. What that Bernie Mac said? Him downstairs. <laughs> now the child looking at you like you short, picking up knives against you. You didn't observe that before you got with her? Remind me to tell him about the black ninja. I'm going to tell you about the black ninja. I told you before, but I know you forgot. Lamentations 4 and 3. Don't let me forget. Just remind me. Lamentations, chapter 4 and verse 3. For even the sea monsters draw out the breast. Sea monsters draw out the breast. They take care of their babies. They draw out the breast. They breastfeed. That's what it means. Go ahead. They give suck. To their young ones. They give suck to their young ones. Mm -hmm. The daughter of my people. But the daughter of my people. The Israelite woman. The black and Latin woman. Go ahead. Is become cruel. Like the ostriches in the wilderness. She's cruel. Like an ostrich in the wilderness. But read the first part of that again. Even the sea monsters draw out the breath. Speaking of breastfeeding. About sea monsters. There's a sister in North Kakalaka. She mad at her husband. 
Husband watching TV, she watching TV. He want to look at sports, she want to look at Guiding Light. Whatever the show soap opera is. Whatever it is. I'm giving my age away now. She gets a text message. You know when they, when he, husband, here she go. You know when you get, when women do that, they don't want you to see somebody text them. And a text message says, how you doing? Can we get together like we did the other night? Then she says to the husband right there, I'll be back. Um, he said, well, what about the baby? He said, what? She said, the baby sleep. I'll be right back and buy the baby some, um, what's the little formula? Buy the baby some formula. She leaves. She goes over to homeboy's house, huffing and puffing, sweat all over the place. Her husband's calling her. Why is it taking you so long to get some milk? 30 minutes go by. 40 minutes, she comes back. He says, why are you sweaty like that? She said, I was running. You know, I had to run. You know, things was happening. I had to hurry up and get back into the car. People is crazy out there. They crazy out here. So he says, well, he says, you know, I, you know, I want to have a little intimate time with you. She says, you want to have intimate time with you? She says, uh... Uh, because she didn't wash her behind. The sweat was still on her. These are true stories. I know y'all be thinking I'm lying. Am I lying? No. Oh, I'm not lying. She says, uh, the baby need milk. Baby need milk. He says, with formula, go put, no, no. She wakes the baby up, puts the baby on the sweaty, dirty titty. Excuse my language. And breastfeeds the baby with the sweat from the other man still on the breastesses. You can't make this stuff up. Read that again. Even the sea monsters draw out the breath. She goes, see, I breastfeed you, sea monster, you. Good. They give suck to their young ones. Mm -hmm. The daughter of my people is become cruel. God says the daughter of my people has become cruel. Mean-spirited. Go ahead. Like the ostriches in the wilderness. Uh, Alicia, or whoever over there, IT, can y'all give me a picture of the ostrich? I know some of y'all knew y'all don't know it. Why is God comparing it to ostriches? Give me Job. Job 39. Wait, let's, let's, I want Elisha or whoever's over there. Who's over there? Give me a picture of an ostrich. Over to Elisha. Ostrich. Okay, put on the screen, please. All right. Let's take a look at her. I want y'all to see, first notice the eyelashes on the ostrich. Y'all don't see some of these sisters here with them eyelashes? They glue them things on. Look like bat wings. The hell is this? And you see that mouth? And you know how ostrich sounds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the sound the ostrich makes. And look, look at them legs, a big butt behind the ostrich. And that neck, it, when it walks, the neck be moving and swerving like that. That's them. God know what he made. He know what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. Girl. Read that, Job 39, 13. Leave that on the screen. Job chapter 39 and verse 13. Gavest thou the goodly wings unto the peacocks? Or wings and feathers unto the ostrich. Unto the ostrich. What about the ostrich? Go ahead. Which leaveth her eggs in the earth. Which the ostrich leaves their eggs in the earth. Go ahead. And warmeth them in dust. Warms up. She puts, she makes a hole, puts the eggs in there, covers it with dust to keep it warm. Go ahead. And forgetteth that the foot may crush them. Then she forgets that her, her foot might crush the eggs. So a lot of these baby ostriches die. Because the mother forgot where she buried the egg and walks on top of it and kills the baby. Go ahead. Or that the wild beast may break them. Or she forgets where it is and the wild beast come by and break them and eat them up. Go ahead. She is hardened against her young ones. She's hardened against her young ones. Mm -hmm. As though they were not hers. She acts like those ain't her kids. Go ahead. Her labor is in vain without fear. Her labor is in vain without fear. 
Go ahead. Because God have deprived her of wisdom. God has deprived her of wisdom. And you brothers be wondering, how come some, I'm not saying all, because our foremothers, the right, they had wisdom. So why is he talking what this group of women he's comparing to ostriches have been deprived of wisdom? And many of you men sit there, counsel after counsel, sit right there. And it's the same sister week after week because you had a backdoor marriage with an ostrich. Hmm. Give me Sirach 2513. The book of Sirach, chapter 25 and verse 13. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart. Some of you brothers got the plague of the heart. It says, give me any plague but the plague of the heart. Go ahead. And any wickedness. And any wickedness. I can deal with any wickedness, but but the wickedness of a woman. But the wickedness of a woman. Woo! That's some heavy stuff right there. Let me tell you. Let me give you brothers a warning sign. When your wife is acting acting up, you know your wife, the one you had the backdoor relationship with her. I'm not talking about you, you legit brothers and sisters. I'm talking about you backdoor ones. When you see her getting off the chain and the ostrich spirit is starting to come out, and you got, and you realize you have a joint bank account with her. You better fix that thing right there. And what I mean by that, if you're going to get a joint bank account with the ostrich, make sure it's only to pay bills. Because once she get mad, and them eyelashes start flapping, and that neck start to move around like that at you, she's thinking. She said, I'm going to take all that nigga's money. You go to work, you come back, bank account says zero now. We had that here, right? That happened right here too. Happened in a few schools. Because you married an ostrich. Hmm. All right. So, I always tell you all about managers. I tell sisters, but I'm dealing with you brothers today. You're never going to meet the real them in six months or even a year. You got to give it time. Everyone's on their best behavior. And we always tell the sisters that. Sisters, you're not going to meet the real them within six months to a year. We'll just give it time. You're going to see the real them later on. I'm going to show you a video now where everybody wants to get married. Get hooked up. I'm surprised. Black people. Black people want to get married. So, but everyone's on their best behavior. Um, all of a sudden, let's you give me the video called Welcome to the Last Resort. The Last. Now, I don't watch these films. But I just happened for today. So let me take a look at this. Everyone's on their best behavior. Let me know when you get it, Alicia. Is it there? Yes, we want to go to, listen good, write it down, Alicia. Six, the timestamp is six minutes, 56 seconds. We're only going to eight minutes and 13 seconds for the first round. You got that? All right. Don't mess up now. Now, if it forgets flag, brothers and sisters, go to Periscope or Facebook. Because you two might go, bloop. Okay, go ahead. This is Simone. Man, it's going to be a sausage fest. And I am Wait, bound. go back, go back. Y'all didn't hear what she said. Go back. Go back a little bit before 6. Go to 6.54. Go to 6.54. Go ahead. Oh, I'm so excited to meet these men. It's going to be a sausage fest. And I am famished. Stop! Yeah. Stop! Did anybody, did I not only want to hear what she just said? She said there's going to be so many men, it's going to be a sausage fest. And I am famished. You know what the sausage is, brother, right? Some of you are slow. You don't know what the hell's going on. You're like, what is he talking about? Vienna sausages, huh? <laughs> Alicia, we're going to 813. Go ahead. Hello. 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 I'm very self-aware, and I know that I'm either going to have one husband or five. So y'all got champagne? Stop! Yeah. Stop! Now, this attorney, she a lawyer. She said, I'm either going to have one husband or five. She says she's very aware of herself. She knows what she look like. And you know, you brothers, some of you brothers, you go, yeah, that's kind of my small style right there. I don't want no old kinky head uh darky that's what some of you brothers be thinking i know you oh i see you i'll be listening to you 
Some of you, not all of you. Some. Go ahead. And it is my goal to have one. So may I share this? What brought you to Houston? Love. Love. Yeah. Okay, did you find it? I'm looking at it right now. Ooh. Stop. <laughs> she just met him. She got game. Brothers, in case y'all don't know, some of these sisters got game. More than you men, because some of you brothers, you are, I don't want to use the word lame. I don't like that word. Give me a word. Give me a nice, socially awkward. Okay, I like that. Some of you men are socially awkward. What's the word? Squares. Do they use that term anymore? So, hey, hey, simp, damn. Hey, give me the scripture about the flattery of the tongue. Y'all help me out here. Help me out here. Flattery of the tongue. Some of you brothers get caught like that. Now, everybody at this resort has either a good career or they have, or they have money. And I tell some of you brothers, some of you brothers, when it comes to your finances, you know what you're doing. I'm telling you, you better get a prenup. No, not yet. I'm telling you, I said prenup. They're going, what? Is that a scripture? No, it ain't a scripture. It's just advice. Got a story for you. Just another story. I'm going to help you out, brothers. Brother got a good job. Good money. Got property, too. Sister, he meets. Welfare queen, section eight. But she got game. She got a couple of kids, too. She flatters him. He's about, how, how big was the dude? I'd say about five, six. He weighed about maybe a buck twenty. Real scrawny, narrow brother. Real thin. Read that scripture for me. Proverbs chapter six and verse twenty-four. Watch this. To keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. The flattery of the tongue. She make you think you look like. Who's the, what women call a sex symbol today? Give me somebody. Michael B. Jordan? Michael B. Jordan? Yeah, me. Me. Oh, you? <laughs> <laughs> we got to entertain it, brothers. Come on, man. Okay. She got you thinking you look like uh, Michael B. Jordan Killmonger with the shirt off. Meanwhile, you look like Jimmy Walker. I don't mind. But she knows what she's doing because you got property. You know how you, you flaunted it. You went, on, went out to talk about, I got this, I got that, I got that. She said, hmm, simp 101. So now she flattered you. You think you Michael Jordan Killmonger. And she hooked up with you. She had one more baby from you. Then she goes, you know what? I'm not feeling this. I'm out. Uh, I'm going to divorce you and... Um, I'm going to take half the properties that you own before you got into the marriage. I'm taking half of that. She already looked all that stuff up. Now you're mad. You're furious. Because now the four properties that you had owned outright by yourself, now she got two. Now you got to pay her alimony also because you got to keep up that lifestyle and child support because she had one baby from you mad as hell. You want to know how you got sucked into this. Well, flattery, that's how you got sucked. Now, I'm not saying all women are like that, but there have been at least one or two cases where that has happened. And now we got to say, brother, mm -mm 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 -mm. shame on you. Because you know what it, was, what it was? Back door. Back door. Where we at now? Oh, no, back to the film. Elisha, where we at? What time is that? Okay, we're going to 8 what? 8.13. Go ahead. Uh-oh. I'm feeling really confident because I know the dress is fitting right, the hair is flowing. Be the dress. Hi. Hey. The hell is this? Hi. Hi. Everybody licking their lips. Hi. All right, David. Nice to meet you. I notice I'm one of the youngest women and I can tell that some of the women kind of look at me a little side eye. It's fine. Like, if you're doing what you're doing right, I shouldn't even be competition in your eyes. But I know that... Let I me tell you, men, something. Right. Women know when they got competition. They have already... They seen her before you seen her. And if you're married, if you're married, 
and a good looking sister enters, enters the room, your wife is watching you because she'd already seen her from the parking lot. Right. <laughs> Let me see if he got the nerve to look at her. The neck starts going like that. Mm-hmm. Another thing about the ostrich I forgot to mention. Notice the ostrich got very little hair. I forgot to mention that too. It's like strings, like sticks. I forgot about it. It just dawned on me. Where we at, Alicia? Now this sister, wait, wait, go back, go back. Now this is, no, not that one. Now that's just a lot of you brothers said, wow, wow. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, Alicia. I shouldn't even be competition in your eyes. But I know that I can get whoever I want. Uh -oh. Hi, how y'all doing? Hey, I'm Adriana. Cal Fani. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. That's a unique name. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. He is killing the game. Y'all got the party started without me. No, 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 no. All right, get it right there. Now let's move over. Alicia, go to sixteen, sixteen. Look at all the, look at all the, put on this, go back, Alicia, to that scene where they was all standing around the bar. No further, further, further. Right there, stop. Put it on the screen. Y'all see the buns? Do y'all see? All you see is cheeks. Every woman there got some tight, a tight skirt on. See, they fishing, they fishing. With, but let me tell you, sister, something. The bait you're using, you're not going to get a true husband with that type of a bait. All right, Elisha, 1616. And we're going to 1629. Real short, this short clip. Good. To be a wife. I was raised to be a wife. Wait, go back, go back, go back. You, we missing it. Go back to 1628, something like 27. To right get there. down, this sounds like me. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm 5'11. No, go five back, Alicia. Go yes. back. I want. I must have gave you the wrong time. Right, go back before this. Right there. Start there. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Rocking that green. I see you. It's a time in the morning. I want to be a wife. I was raised to be a oh, wife and a mom. Raised to be a wife and a mom. Raised, raised to be a wife. So it's like that desire is in there. You ran. Oh, to stop! Down. This sounds. Stop. You saw? Did y'all see what I just saw? What'd you see, Barnabas? Yeah, that touch right there. Brothers, and hey, you sent brothers, listen good. Once that sister reach out, reach out, reach out and touch someone, she she she's she's gonna give you some. She's gonna give you some. I'm telling you straight. Once that hand how she put that hand on you, she's letting you know. Well, we can get it, we could, you know, you know. Go back a little bit. And she says, I was born to be a wife and a mother. This is, now remember, this is their managers. Go ahead. I want to be a wife. I was raised to be a oh, wife and a mom. Raised to be a wife and a mom. Right? Raised to be a So it's like that desire is in there. You're ready to get down. You sound like me. How tall are you? I'm 5'11. 5'11. Yes. Man. <laughs> Man. You can work with that. Oh, okay. See, I got, I got caught in the moment. I got caught. Let me get my mind back. Hey. <laughs> Go to 2055. 20 minutes, 55 seconds. We're going to go to 2330. Write that down, Alicia. That's what you do. <laughs> so you ready for love, Jay? It's time, man. It's yeah. time. You know, I'm a dad. Two kids, so um, I'm looking for that, but I'm looking for the right thing, right? There's plenty of choices. Yeah. I mean, you always want to find love, right? You want to find that person that's going to be your life mate, that person that you're excited to wake up to the next morning and 40 years or 50 years from, from then, still knowing that you made the right choice. What about you? I'm ready to meet my mate, okay. you know? Building an empire. I don't want to do it by myself. You know, everybody wants to get that Barack and Michelle joint going. <laughs> like a black barber dog. Black okay. barber dog. Are yeah, so you the black can then? I guess that. Hey, <laughs> if, if that's what we need, do I need to do the little Corvette and <laughs> right. we get in that dope just the barber can style? You want to go on the swing? Let's yeah, go let's on the go swing. Let's go on the swing. Cal Stop. Funny. Wait, go back, Alicia. I want y'all to see this. Brothers, go play it. And when I say stop, just stop. Go ahead. You want to go on the swing? Let's yeah, go on the swing. Let's go on the swing. Stop. 
Notice where she sits on the swing. Right in the middle. Not on the and you would not, normally she'd sit on the far side over there. And the, bro, the brother sit on the other side. Y'all know what I'm talking about? But she sat in the middle on purpose. I'm, this is this is this is game here. This is game. Right, her bare behind's on that chair. Oh, that's a short skirt. Go ahead, play on. Honey. He's so handsome. I can leave those here. You sure can. And wait a minute, wait, wait. Stop, stop. Wow. Wow. Woo. Sisters, let me tell you something. You do this with a brother, she's he's not gonna marry you. You he gonna hit it and leave it. I'm telling you. That's why do you not this is how a lot of these single mamas got like that. They did that thing that we just saw, and he hit it and left. He said, I ain't marrying her. She easy like that. Yeah. Three kids. He leave you with one more and he out. Come on. Where we going, Alicia? Okay, good. Relax. Look at and this. he's just downright fine. He fine. Damn, it's so bad. He fine. That's it. This yeah, is cool. This is so, cool. Super cool. This is cool. I don't want to have to have to feel like I have to like work yeah. to get somebody to like me. You know what I mean? It shouldn't happen. It just have it should be just organic. Flow naturally. Just flow naturally. Yeah. That's right. What's 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 your um what? what's your experience been yeah, like? Yeah, what's hold on, hold on, but you know she left her house in her mind she have gain. Their brother, you know what I mean, he's not like a young brother. He been have gain. So he's saying that he he got the same mindset. We both gonna play game. That's what the whole thing is. We both gonna play game. Honestly, my last relationship was a doozy. I was in a domestic violence situation where I almost lost my life. Damn. But I Pause. Didn't. If you were in, you sisters, some of you may have been in a domestic violence situation. I don't know everything. I don't. But if you were, when you meet a man, you would be that much more what? Cautious. Not throwing your legs in his lap and all that. Like, here I am. Come get me. The hell is this? Go ahead. At the same time, you have to grow. You just have to pull it together. You do. Because nobody's going to help you but you. That's you it. know what I mean? I had to. Stop there. Stop there. Now, you heard what she said. After domestic violence, you got to just pull it together because there's nobody that's going to help you but you. You know, I told sisters that back in one of the schools. They got mad at me. I said, sister, you got to pull it together. When you get when when did, when was the domestic violence the order the he raped me uh, thirty years ago I said sister you gotta pull it together come on now you can't let this thing anchor you that'll mess up any future hopes of you ever having a decent uh family life marriage y'all understand what I'm saying so like to say, I'm glad the sister said it you gotta pull it together anybody gonna help you but you come on I says, absolutely we all ran our heads into the wild and made so many mistakes. But it's about learning from him and getting deeper learning into the spirit. You hear? Learning from the mistakes. She got her legs on his lap. She got game like Lava, but like you said, he got game too. He's playing a role. Go ahead. Same mistakes. Same mistakes over and over. And over. Yeah. We had a really good in-depth conversation. We got really deep. Her presence, it just it speaks to you. I just connected with it immediately. <laughs> Do you have just a tough, are you tough exterior or are you... I feel like soft inside. I'm you... soft inside, but I'm tough on the outside. Like, I'm soft on the outside. How you doing? I'm great. How Raymond. are you? Raymond. Nice. I'm Naya. Right. Is that it, Alicia? My name is Raymond Williams. I'm okay. 52 years old, and I'm a musician. I play guitar and I sing. I'm a uh, single mama, a two. My little, my little grown kids. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Right. He's 52. He's an old musician. You got to watch the musician brothers. Now, give me Psalms 39, 5 and 6, please. Psalms 39, 5 and 6. She said, he said, are you tough inside? Or out? She said, I'm soft inside. What the hell is this? Psalms chapter 39 and verse 5. Behold, thou hast made my days as a hand breath, and mine age is as nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether 
Vanity. Every man at his best. Sisters, I want you to listen to this. Brothers, listen. Every man at his best state. Now, he, he's a personal trainer. I forgot what the sister did because she had another high field, track and field coach. Every, everybody at their best state, you be at your zenith, you're top of your game. It says they're all together vanity, meaning they're full of SH. They ain't right. Go ahead. Say la. Mm -hmm. Surely every man walketh in a vain show. Every man walks in a vain show. Everybody got game, brothers and sisters. Everybody got game. Go ahead. Surely they are disquieted in vain. Mm -hmm. Was that it? He heapeth up riches. And know if not, who shall gather them? Right. He just works and works. He heaps up riches. Give me 1 Samuel 16, 7. Every man at his best state is altogether vanity. 1 Samuel 16, verse 7. I'm sorry. 1 Samuel chapter 16 and verse 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as a man seeth. For a man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. See, sisters, you hear what God said? That's for the sisters right there. It said, mm, look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature. That's what a lot of women look for. What kind of man are you looking for? So he got to be tall. Okay. She's looking all on the outside. This is his exterior. That's what she wants. Yeah, but Bishop, one thing I don't understand. If she's like five, let's say she's 5'10". Five, 5'10 ten. Five, ten is tall. 5'10". She's tall, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, a woman that is 5'10", she says she wants somebody taller. Then yeah. she despises her own height. She, she, she wants like 5'11", or maybe 6'2". All the way tall. That means maybe she don't even acknowledge her own height. So, sisters look on the outside on the outside but it says God has, God is what it says for the Lord seeth not as man seeth so when a sister says to us I want brother so and so we say sis he ain't ready yet she says but he's tall he's handsome he's good looking just like that sister says he's fine and we'll say he ain't ready yet he only been in the truth six months the sister been in the truth two years now she, she disregard well, the, the little advice we give is, hey, you know, wait on that. You don't know what this dude going to do. She chased him behind him. And, and, and they ain't even married yet. If he walked to one side of the school, sister's right there behind him. I mean, what the hell is that? What's going on? He walked to this side. She right there behind him. He go to the back. This woman is crazy. That's the kind of sister that's going to get burned. She just look, oh, he's fine. Yeah, she thinks, she said, I could change him. Okay. We've heard that one before. Philippians 2.12. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. So the same way, brothers and sisters, on their best behavior when we're amongst each other, you should maintain your discipline when you're alone. Even if it's just a brother and sister, maintain the same biblical discipline. Not you looking around making sure nobody's looking, and now you do some crazy stuff. Okay? From there, Elisha, Officer Lester, give me the next video about the top 10 types of women. Top 10 types of women. Again, if you're on Facebook or Periscope, these class, this class should be all right, but YouTube might hit it. Uh, Elisha, we're going to start at 55 seconds, please, because he goes through a whole um, spiel. I don't want to hear all of that. Okay, start right there and get ready to pause. Or so that you might want to avoid. Wait, go back. I missed what he said. Go back. Okay, me dash, Grand Poobah voice. So with that being said, on today's video, I'm going to go over about 10 types of women or so that you might want to avoid. Characteristics, habits, or personality traits or quirks that should have you thinking, sometimes being single really ain't that bad. So without further ado, let's talk about the types of women you should avoid. 
Now, the first type of lady you might want to avoid, let's call her the comparative one. She's always trying to see how she measures up to the girl on Instagram or her circle of friends. Or worse yet, she's often comparing you to a rotten ex-boyfriend or a dad that never was around. You got to stay away from her. Stop. Stop. Did y'all hear what he just said? The comparative one. Y'all need to write that down. I don't see no pens moving. All you single brothers should be writing down and study what type of woman to avoid. That old comparative woman. She com Not only does she compare herself. I'm going to tell you a story. S uh, uh, sister been with her husband X amount of years. They finally, after like 15 years of marriage, finally get their first property. This sister been married four months. And she says to her husband, how can we ain't got a house like sister such and such got? And he's looking at her and says, well, sister such and such and her husband struggled for 15 years because they both had bad credit to get what they got. Now, here we are. I got bad credit. You got bad credit. We got some stuff to work on. Now, no, see, that ain't right because if she got it, I want it. That's the old comparative system. Now, that's one level. Like you said, then the next type of comparative sister, she compares you to her old Negro ex-boyfriend or her dad that abandoned her when she was six. You ain't right. You look just like him. That's what she, you better watch that. She was hooked up with a knucklehead. Now she wants to talk to you about how similar you are to him. Leave her alone. Yes. I always said, your sisters, every single man you dealt with before you come in the truth was a nigga. <laughs> so the brother you meet right now, yes, that's the righteous brother. So, so do not compare a negro with a righteous brother. I don't care if he had money. I don't care if he was an NBA player. He was a nigga. Mm -hmm. And the man you have right now, I don't care if he's working for Home Depot. He's a righteous brother. Mm -hmm. Right, because he's he trying to uh, work on himself. You trying to work on yourself so y'all could do that thing together. Look at 2 Corinthians 10 and 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 12. For we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. But they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. Don't compare yourself to others. Everybody's situation in here is relatively different. We each have different struggles. We each have different hurdles we need to overcome. So it's a mistake for you sisters to do the comparative game with your hopeful spouse. Don't do that. Go back to the video. Looking through you through muddy glasses. She can't see you for who you are. Please run away. The next young lady you might want to steer clear from, let's call her the constant complainer. You know the one who's never happy or satisfied? She was hoping it rained when it's sunny outside. You're wearing jeans when she was hoping you'd have that suit on. You gotta steer clear from her. She's never gonna be happy. Everything's gonna be glass half empty when you're really a glass half full guy. Next Stop. up, the complaining sister. Some of you are married to that complaining. You can never do nothing right. She wakes up in the morning, the sun is out, she's mad because she wanted it to rain. She goes to sleep and about to go to sleep, the moon is shining and she wanted to be dark and hazy. She complains about the moon and the sun. The stars are out. She's furious. And here you are. The type of job you got ain't right. The type of shoes you got ain't right. What else they complain about? Some of them complain about the sex you give. It ain't right. Some of them go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She's a constant complainer. Give me that in Jude. Jude 116. The complaining sister. And if y'all are just courting and she's complaining, that's a red flag. That's a no-no. One sister that's courting a brother. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this right here. I did a class about bum brothers. You know those classes where all the sisters are just so happy. This sister who's courting this particular brother says, you know, I was thinking about the class and today's class about bum brothers reminded me of you. 
And I, I said, is that normal conversation? He says, yes. No matter what, I'm a bum. I'm no good. This is wrong. And they're just proven. I'm like, bro, cut that off. You need a sister that's going to exhort you, that's going to encourage you, not always tear you down. What the hell is this? Read that. Jude, verse 16. These are murmurers. These are what? These are murmurers. These are murmurers. Mm-hmm. Complainers. Complainers. Complain. 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 How can we got a, a studio apartment and they got a two bedroom? How can we got a two bedroom and they got a three bedroom? How come not we got one busted car and they got two and a Mercedes and a Maserati? Why? Why? Complain, complain, complain. Oh, Lord have mercy. Go ahead. Read it again. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust. They walk after their own lust. That's the, in this context, today's context, context, it's an American dream. She wants to keep up with the Joneses. That's how I'm using it today. Don't write me a letter to what Bishop is really talking. Shut up. I know what it's talking about. Go ahead. In their mouth speaketh great swelling words. In their mouth speak great swelling words because she's complaining how you ain't S-H. Wow. Was that it? Having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. Remember back at uh, 1088, one of those stupid brothers that left out of his wife that uh, abandoned him, she said, look at you. You're fat. You're out of shape. Why don't you be like brother so-and-so right there? See, he's in shape. Look at the biceps. Look at his pecs. Look at him. How many of you brothers want to hear that crap all day? She comparing you with another brother in the school. That's some evil stuff right there. Compl now, you knew when you met the brother, he was fat and flabby. Now, all of a sudden, you see this brother who's in shape, a trainer. Now, you're comparing him to him. Make no daggone sense. Go back. And the list of ladies you want to avoid, let's call her the mostly unavailable one. See, here's the thing. As much as a player you or I may be, we definitely want a deep, significant, long-term relationship eventually. And the young lady that's emotionally available just won't be able to let you in. There's a wall up that you just can't climb over. So a lot of times, you know what? She's going to be the fun girl, the charming, seductive, playful one. But that's only skin deep. If you're looking for a real deep relationship, avoid the emotional unavailable young lady. Now so the emotionally unavailable sister, she never really lets you in. And a lot of that's due, due to her past relationships. Look at uh, 2 Samuel. 616, I think that's what I want. She's emotionally cut off from you. Second Samuel, chapter 6 and verse 16. And as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Michal, Saul's daughter, looked through a window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord. And she despised him in her heart. See how she was towards him? He out there having a good time. His wife despised him. She had no she didn't have no love for him. She was emotionally cut off from him. And he's the king. Play on. Play video. We gotta talk about a close cousin of the emotionally available one. But on the flip side, we're talking about the overanalyzer. You know the one that has to break down every syllable of every word you say? Everything has a deeper meaning. Stay away from her. Unless you love organic chemistry, which is the first class ever failed, by the way, please run the other way. She'll have you with paralysis by analysis. You analyze things so much, the relationship will never move. Now, the next young lady will be on the... Stop overanalyzing, sister. She always... You'll say something and she's thinking of it having a deeper meaning than what you said. Uh, can you uh, wash the dishes? What do you mean? Just can you wash the dishes? No, you meant something else. She's thinking and thinking and thinking. And yeah, why you say it that way? Why did you use that tone of voice when you said, can I wash? Babe, I just, can you wash? That's it. It's nothing more. That's all I said. No, no, no. I know you. She's overthinking. She's overanalyzing it. Look at Matthew 23, 24. Matthew chapter 23 and verse 24. Ye blind guys. Which strain at a net? Which strain at a net? And swallow a camel. And swallow a camel. You know the Pharisees? They look as they're straining at a net. Something so small and insignificant, they make a major issue out of it. 
but that's so small. But then they can swallow and understand big things in the scriptures. But the little things, they strain and struggle with. You have women that do that. They strain at a gnat. You, she's talking. You just happen to belch. What, 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 why are you disrespecting me? Babe, I just burped. That's it. No, you did it for a reason. No, I did not. I just burped. Lord forbid you bust gas. The hell is this? Play on. Look out for that drama queen. Here's the thing. She only thrives if there's chaos. And you and I both know, life is tough and stressful enough on its own. Your relationship is supposed to be your happy place, your safe haven, and a respite from stress. The drama queen is the exact opposite. So unless you want some bags under your eyes, some sleepless nights, and that stomach ulcer, stay away from that drama queen. Now next stop, up on the stop. list of the beautiful... That old drama queen. Look at Sirach 26.8. I've got some drama for you. Some sisters, brothers, are drama queens one sister says my husband he beat me he hit me in my mouth sister what do you want call the cops then no why we bring him down brother says yeah i hit her i didn't want to but she was busting me upside my head you know the women that when they want to talk with the hand they talk and here's your foot bang 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 Y'all know women like that? They like to hit you all upside the head. So the brother went pop. So now, here you go. The cop come later on. This, this is another story. I'm, I'm blending them. Another story. She called the cop. Cops get there. He hit me. The brother, he says, well, where's your bruises? She said, oh, well. He said, I see bruises on him. He says, you know what? I'm going to lock you. Ah, oh, no, no, babe, babe, babe. You know, I was just kidding. Because now her butt was going to go to jail. Because the husband had the bruises and she didn't. Right? drama queens and then they'll come to the school and get all the sisters against you and make all the sisters think you're abusive he's a beast he's a monster he did this to me meanwhile back at the ranch read that Sirach chapter 26 and verse 8 a drunken woman and a gather a broad that's the part I want the gather a broad, a broad part go ahead Cause of great anger. Causes great anger. She, she cause she got to tell everybody she's a drama queen. Okay, here go another one. What's that song? Let me see if I want to tell that one. Hmm. Okay, okay, here we go. Husband and wife arguing in the house. He walks by. His shoulder brushes her. She throws herself to the floor. Oh God, Jesus! Babe, what the hell is wrong with you? Ah, stop it. He, she's on the floor screaming now. And he's like, whoa, whoa, what's wrong with you? No, she wanted the neighbors to hear to get him, the husband, locked up. Y'all see that movie where the woman beats herself up in the bathroom? I forgot the name of it. She's just busting her head on the countertop. What is it? Thin line between love and hate. Some of you brothers get mad. Unfortunately, you marry that drama queen. And you, you rule the day for that thing. If you had just taken that time to vet her, you wouldn't be in a situation today. Bishop. P yes. Uh, Captain Zakar just sent an image of a drama queen. Go ahead. Uh, Alicia, pull that image up. This is hilarious. <laughs> Read it for us. All right. Once he come up. All right, so this is an image. It says, babe, what happened? Are you okay? The woman replies, I was making up scenarios in my head, and I took it too far and hurt my own feelings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.